How's it going, everybody? Thought I'd give you all a little update video real quick. I've got the all the timings done. All the valve covers are bolted on. I just bolted on the turbo manifolds on both sides. If you look over there, you can see that one. So we're getting stuff done slowly. Not as quick as the Mustang Brothers because he's got his engine and everything in the car. And he's about to go be putting the fluids in. So I'm about to go over there and see his car. But uh, all the manifolds are on. Engine bay is just sitting here waiting for me to put the motor in. Uh, a couple of things I still need to get. The oil cooler, where the lower radiator hose is, where the oil filter would normally bolt onto. I have to get a Mustang style. And I'll show you the difference. So this is the one that I have right here. And... This is the way it would bolt on is like that and the mustang is 90 degrees and if you look at that one it's not 90 so it does weird stuff with the uh radiator hose but you can see that with the um even that style or the mustang style the oil filter will hit the manifold right here so uh that's what we're dealing with right now i gotta get that i've already got the the turbo kit came with the uh oil filter relocation kit so the engine's pretty much ready to go in the car. This is not the intake I'm running. These are not the injectors I'm running. I'm gonna be going with a Victor Junior and a big 90 to a 90 millimeter throttle body. So all this stock crap's going. And uh, you can see my new Marissa oil pan that already has the bung welded in for the oil drain. So that makes that super easy. Motor mounts are already bolted on, literally how it sits. I'm waiting on a front main seal. And that, once I get both of those, then the motor will be going back in the car, which will most likely be in the next couple days. So, thanks, just wanted to give you all an update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I know somebody said something about to show the car every once in a while, because I don't show it very often, but this is her. All nice and pretty. Uh, I just got a new buffer, so I will be buffing my paint. Because right now, it's got runs in it from the clear coat. It's really dirty. But, uh, that's the car right there. Just ready. And another thing we'll be doing is this is, was a V6 car. Still got the V6 rear end in it. Ripping that out, putting in 8.8. .8. We're going to build the rear end, put a full spool in it. And I'm going to show you all all of that. Which I think that'll be a good video. And we're going to do complete aftermarket upper and lower arms on the rear. I've already got my coilovers on, but uh, we're gonna be going for the better, the cheapest, not necessarily the cheapest, but the best stuff I can get on a budget. So, uh, and if I don't like it, I'll tell you, we're most likely gonna upgrade the uh, drive shaft to an all aluminum drive shaft, save some weight there. And uh, there's a company that builds pretty much crash bars front and rear, like what you would see on a drift car underneath the bumper cover metal tube to where you can still run the factory bumper cover and it'll have a parachute mount in the center so uh and i'll be calling out the mustang brothers here real soon to a drag race once we both get our cars together his is pretty much done he's putting fluids in it today so you know but we're getting there slowly once we get it fully done you all definitely get to see it it'll be a hell of a lot of fun show y'all how to set up a two-step uh we're gonna get it tuned i'm gonna have boost reference fuel pressure regulator and everything on this thing so we should have some fun see what this old stock bottom end can handle so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all later